is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below all right aries you're starting your end of the your end of october you're starting out with the dominant energy of the knight of wands here the knight of wands this is telling me this is a very enthusiastic card okay so this energy is like a perfect complement for those who are starting new ventures okay so you may be starting something new or you're very likely passionate about some new project that you're facing at work etc okay or this could also be you wanting to go towards a new job um or like um say wanting to search for a new job or wanting to search for something that gives you um a lot of stability all right probably you're very eager to take new responsibilities also okay if you're not starting anything new then it could be that you're just a bit frustrated and a lack of progress okay because this can be someone you know who's like it's like a double edged sword card okay either you have like this burst of enthusiasm but fear it's probably going to be a waste okay so you're probably trying to seek out new opportunities yourself or it might just be that you have been waiting for things to fall into your lap whereas you should have been seeking them out okay so yeah you want to or you need to utilize your energies to advance okay even if it takes an extra effort on your part all right what happened in the past here we have the king of cups this is telling me that in the past i feel this is someone who's very experienced very caring and very compassionate okay more like an advisor or a mentor okay so either there was someone around you who was helping you out okay to develop a very emotionally fulfilling career or this is you just trying to balance out your emotional needs and practical and logical needs okay i think uh you have the wisdom and ability to balance your head and heart okay and you could win the respect and admiration of those around you at the same time i'm i'm getting that um this can make you very valuable okay uh when it comes to um ironing out conflicts between various parties in the office so yeah i'm seeing that you had a very mature approach towards your work or this is how people treated you with, with a lot of respect okay but yeah you were definitely looking for a balance between what you liked and what gave you stability and try to make a very logical balance out of it okay very practical choices present situation we have the five of pentacles okay so far um I feel that this is definitely some trouble. This is some temporary financial hardships that you may be going through, okay? And uh, could be losing a job, okay? Probably that's what with the Knight of Wands here. I feel you're looking for a new job. You're looking for something that gives you a high, something that's keep, that makes you very passionate. But yeah, this could be losing a job right now, or you're just feeling very lonely and abandoned by your work, by your colleagues, your boss at work, whatever, okay? Maybe there are people who are treating you like an outcast, or you know, you're just probably struggling with office politics. okay on um, i mean and being social if you're a business owner then this is you just probably struggling with your finances okay i mean uh these issues are probably severely affecting your mental health also which i'm getting okay and it can be going down or down it can give it can be a downward spiral also at the same time okay so um if you feel that the current situation that you are in if you feel it's not going to change you may want to start looking for another job again i feel like this is exactly what you're doing looking for another job right see how this person is going outwards right and then your future what you'll be experiencing is the empress in reverse okay so yeah right now i still feel that probably you're still sticking on to your job okay maybe you're on a lookout for a job okay? but, but still the place where you're at right now okay i'm feeling when it comes to work your dedication and commitment okay needs to improve okay but um it it's almost like you know like sorry guys so we have you the empress in reverse here as you're in the near future position so what i'm getting is that your career may probably start to feel stale in the near future okay very tedious and very unfulfilling at the same time i'm getting you may feel that you're making very very little progress or there would just be a lack of growth and expansion all right when it comes to really developing your skills and abilities uh work could be very very monotonous for you okay and uh, I'm getting that you already know what you can do in the in the position that you are in right now. Okay, whatever you're doing right now, you've already mastered that, and you're already you already know everything that you need to do. Okay, and that's what of uh, one of the reasons why you're probably getting bored is also what I'm getting. Okay, you may also feel that others don't appreciate your work also. Okay, which is going to add on to your frustration in the near future. Um. 
this card can also point out to me that uh, there are other problems also that you're experiencing okay like for example uh, i'm feeling that uh, you could be having this feeling of being very insecure in your career right now okay so um, there could be some external exchange external changes going on okay and uh, you may just need to switch a job is what i'm getting okay you may not need, want to think about switching jobs okay versus the one that you have right now or you just need to just develop better confidence and communication skills all right this is uh, what you're doing right now okay this is how you view yourself for what you're doing right now wow we have the strength in reverse here okay so i feel that i think this is a big time where your fears are standing in your way okay this is fears are standing in your way on your in, in the way of your career aspirations i'm getting that uh, you may have everything you need to get the success okay but you need that dose of confidence and belief in yourself you're losing the confidence okay you're coping out you're taking the easy way out or you're just being a coward right now okay you're probably constantly second second guessing yourself you're letting anxiety and self doubt take control of you okay and and that's what's preventing you from making the choices that can move your career forward okay um if you actually go to see right this is the woman here she's trying to tame the situation she's trying to tame the line right so if you really like to take a closer look at this okay you probably find out that you are more capable than you actually are okay you just need to trust in your own abilities and others who trust you as well okay all right what's in your surrounding energies we have the 8 of pentacles here So this is what I'm getting. What I'm getting here is in your environment, right? Something needs your dedication, commitment, okay, towards your work, okay. I think uh, your career goals can be met, okay. Uh, you just need to achieve either a new level of skill or an expertise. Is what I'm getting, okay. I think uh, others could be watching you like this, okay, as someone that they do appreciate you, all right, and uh, they do probably even look at you as a leader, okay, in your field. or someone who's master of their fields this is the eight of pentacles this is how people view you they they view you how how, how well you've grown etc okay this is also a promotion if you're looking for this is coming in your environment okay but if you're in the process of starting your own business okay um you're going to go to what success for sure okay and profits so i think what is required from you in your environment or what your environment need from from needs from you is to keep your skills very sharp and just remain curious okay If you're constantly in a period of study, um, your talent is definitely going to be very, very impressive to people. So yeah, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Master your skills, okay? Just reach that perfection, or try new skills, or try another way of um, getting better at what you're doing. Okay, but dedication and commitment is the key out here. In your emotions, you have the two of cups here. So yeah, your aim is just—I mean, you just want a good relationship with your colleagues. or uh, if this is a partnership you're looking for you want a helpful strong um this is very strongly associated with positive relationships okay which is in your emotions okay so when it comes to career probably uh, you just want that your relationships with your colleagues or your business partners should be very strong okay you want the support and harmony of people around you and um again you could be debating of having um a business partnership also with someone if you are then this is what you want you just want that this partnership should be very very fruitful and you guys can work together okay this is uh, a romantic this can then not a romantic relationship okay it's very rare but yeah if you are then uh, then probably i do find that there's someone interesting you've met through at work which is in your emotions right now okay and this is also happiness in the relationship as well maybe you just get along very well with this person that you met at work just need to be careful that this could be a risk okay of mixing pleasure with work so be careful about that your likely outcome is the eight of swords here okay so again i'm feeling that your career probably uh, with the likely outcome here right it's again because you're feeling so stale okay this thing's feeling very tedious right again you're going to find yourself in a career that is not quite what you thought it would be okay you're you're going to feel very tied okay to your probably to your means of living or you're just going to feel that you can't leave right now because you've already reached a point of exhaustion in this career okay it's just not helping you it's just not making you happy okay it's making you feel stuck it's making you feel creatively blocked okay 
So you could also feel that you don't have a backup plan or you don't have any other positions or jobs or career paths that are available to you, okay? Again, if you're looking to switch career paths, okay, it's going to take some time, okay? It's, it's, uh, it's going to be a little difficult because you're not going to be able to have a steady income if you just leave right now, okay? Again, if you may think you don't have options right now, but if you just try and think outside the box, okay, maybe you'll just find some options, okay? Because the Eight of Swords is the card that has to do with anxiety, okay? This is the anxiety that may make you feel like you have less options, okay? But in reality, you probably do have a lot of options, okay? Ask for help, etc., okay? But um, there are likely many options, okay? You just don't have to keep suffering. This is also affecting your mental health. So that's what I have for you, right? So I hope this reading resonates with you, this career reading, Aries. And um, let me know in the comments below how much this resonated or if this is your story. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.